welcome to the podcast. Game plays you in Russia. We've got uh, some things to talk about, some games. Uh, first is the Call of Duty World War Two. Second, the EA Star Wars Battlefront 2, and we've got two trailers for two different games, Red Dead Redemption 2 and uh, Far Cry 5, what we want to discuss. First, uh, start with Call of Duty, then I want to compare it with the second one, which is pretty much the same, like now, the World War 2. So guys, what you what you think about the game? What's your first impressions? I want to compare it to a piece of crap. <laughs> ah. Uh, I don't think that could uh, be be happening because it's um because it's pretty much it's, the same. It's, it's good. It's not. It's not as bad as it's gone back to its roots. It's changed. They they clearly saw Sledgehammer saw. <laughs> we're getting sick of advanced warfare. Black Ops Three was it was it was all right. It could have been better if it was less mm-hmm. like uh, yeah. double jumps. And then Infinite Warfare was a pile of shiz. But I think they've the it's a welcome change, but you know it. I'm not saying it, it's perfect. They I I, I perfect. didn't say that to trigger you, you by the way. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I think the second one was perfect. Well, we're talking about we're talking about the old ones. I think old one two is the best. Cod two was best on the Wii. <laughs> oh, I've called it Black Ops One on the Wii. I saw that. It's like, how could you? you know someone, I saw a yeah, video the other day. Call of Duty on the PSP. That was actually really good. I saw a video the other day, and someone like reviewed all the Wii COD games, <laughs> and they they were like, oh, they're pretty good, but they're not great. I'd rather play the. Yeah, the DS. Ever like Modern Warfare. It's really weird. Right, At least you got two screens. What's the uh, first impression about the campaign? What you seen so far from it? I think there was so there's some people with an eagle eye on detail can clearly see there's they've missed a couple of things, and they they could have made a bit better. Overall, it's good. It really like captures how war was in the times, and how hard it was for them. And you can see the how they change throughout, like the war. And how it goes, but I think the main bit is it was too Americanized. It could have been changed a Ma- bit with. Basically, the if you love action, you'll love it. If you like um, yeah. attention to detail, but it's a Call of Duty game. Cool. It's a Call of Duty game. What you're gonna <laughs> expect a lot of action, but yeah, it's just but detail and um, and yeah, like but if change you it up a bit. Yeah, World War campaign, you ain't getting that here. It's yeah, like you, that if way. you want like full on detail about how it was, there isn't that's, a game that's no. really done World War. Properly, properly, except for maybe the older ones slightly. Well, if they're gonna do it properly, they need to have both sides of the yeah. both teams of the war. You can't just play as one side. Like they should have campaigns for both well, uh, teams of the Germans, Germans English. Like that. They did a bit of that. A bit, yes. A bit, and you I got to play as some Russians really in Berlin. Mm. Uh, Reznov, who went to Black Ops One too. Yeah, he was. Um, you got to play as him, and then you saw some bit of a German side. In a way, you like it was a bit where they're allies in a summary before the British invade. Do you think all the COD games are connected together, like in one thing? No, not COD. Black Ops, yeah, they're all connected. And the Modern Warfare series. Yeah, because I know like lots of them are part of the same wars. Call of Duty. What? But I know lots of them are part of the same wars, but wars are massive, so you could easily have like lots of different certain battles. I know there's um, Call of Duty, like the actual Call of Duty and Modern Warfare. They're linked. Mm-hmm. Because there was a game called Duty Modern Warfare, game where it's um, where you were playing as the Modern Warfare three characters. Yeah. And then some Call of Duty <laughs> characters. It was like two di- different special task force teams, yeah. and it it kept changing from like each other. So you got to see the perspective. If I played down, it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. I think I do recommend playing it because it's good perspective upon it. It's like Cold War era kind of. Mm-hmm. And what about the multiplayer? Yeah. I think that's good too. It's 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 good to some extent. It's nice. I'm I welcome the change of the new game mode war. I I love that game mode. It's great. It's kind of a mini campaign within the game, but it's like full on multiplayer. I think it's about fifteen. No, not fifteen. What what's war? I'm seeing this. It's basically it's kind of like some game modes stuck together. So right now there's three maps. Uh, I'm going to talk about one map now, and it's where the first bit, 
you have oh, if I can remember you got to capture a certain point while the enemy team is defending it or the other way around the Americans are attacking Germans are defending and the main aim is to destroy the flat guns at the end after you capture the base you got to build a bridge so the tank can cross and then once you've done that you have to destroy a bomb and then escort the tank to the flat guns and then that's it and then you get a little cutscene of the tank destroying it or the flat gun shooting down a, a B-17 mm. bomber. Let's move on to Star Wars Battlefront 2 the EA one. Not the original. No, no, no not, not the, the original. original. There's no PS2 um, Unfortunately. I yeah. bought it yesterday and I think the campaign is pretty good. I enjoyed it for that three hours what I played so far. And I jumped into one or two multiplayer matches, so it's just the really first impressions about the game, but what you guys think about it? The campaign and the multiplayer. I think it well. looks good, but yeah. with what's happening with microtransactions, I don't think I would well, want to get it. Bombed. The sales yeah. have taken a serious hit. Mm. And the stocks of the It's with all the microtransactions. Yeah. It's just people are kind of g- sick of it. That's why there's less people, less and less people are buying EA's games. Because. Well, people are like boycotting them, aren't they? Because yeah. They don't want to buy, like. Exactly. Like, like, if I want a game, um, I think I, sh- I want to buy the whole thing there and then. I'm not spending 50 something pounds on a game which then I have to pay an extra 20 to continue on a story or get characters which would which would improve my gameplay it's it's well I'm 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 here for the whole game not like a game exactly. which has like sections cut out oh you want this DLC included they always well, build it like this season it's, pass they yeah, build it get a season pass with to play like episode day 1 two. DLC they always build the game knowing yeah. that they're going to release that mm. either day one or a little while later. So they, they're they like, oh, it's less work for us. We can release a half-finished game. It's, I oh know, it's just no nobody wants to buy that anymore. They want to get the full game. What about the multiplayer, how they changed it? Um, in the first one, they had the power cards. Yeah. I don't and now they're bad. using a score system. What do you think? Which one is the best? I think... The first mm. Battlefront the, the, on the it, on the new gens generation consoles are all right. That wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. It was good. It was a new thing. It was different. It's kind of like Battlefield One now, so but more like Star Wars thing. Yeah, yeah. So it was good, and it was people still play Battlefield One, so they'll still pe- play Battlefront One, too. But now, like, say Battlefront, they created a battle, uh, Battlefield Two. Same as Battlefront 2. Not a lot of people want it. It's it, it's like, well, you're going to do the same thing. It's like, I don't want to pay for it. Mm, I want to move on to the trailers. There is t- uh, two different games. 5. And I think the Far Cry 5 one, uh, I want to show you the E3 gameplay trailer as well. Okay. So. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang, bang. Boom, 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 boom. Behind you. Bang, 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 bang. Gonna need more help. I love the way you walk. And I love the way you talk. <laughs> Alright, then, uh, how was the trailer? What's your imp? I think it's good, but it's, I, I haven't played any Far Cry, but it, I still don't. It's just, it's one of those games which I don't want to be, f- like, you just... It, it doesn't look laid back all the time. It looks like you're going to fight all the time. It's just like... Actually, it's not true. Not all Far Cry's like that. Um, well, I, I, yeah, but I've it's played, not that tight. I've again. played Far Cry since 2. And the, my favourite part about Far Cry is actually the hunting. Which is the most slow part of the game. You just keep following the animal around. Until and sneak you, around them. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most fun part, though. Because, yeah. like, you can just... You're going through all these forests and stuff. Everything. And you have to use, you have to genuinely think like a hunter. Well, it's more realistic, isn't it? It's yeah. It's what you yeah. want. Uh, for example, in Far Cry 2, if you have a, a shitty, dusty weapon, 
it will stuck when you shoot, yeah. or it can explode in your hand. Ooh. Ooh. I, I the, and um, and you needed to buy uh, the like newer the version of the like same challenge. weapon for diamonds, for yeah. blood diamonds, and then then you didn't have that problem. But until you had the dirty shit quality weapon it can oh. stack or it can explode in your hand uh, which is take I half the, the rpgs um when you find your first one there's a chance it can just explode in your hand yeah, yeah. like that was like the best thing but well, I like the thing yeah it. i like the it. thing about far cry 2 is far cry 2 was actually scary because you had malaria as well yeah. and you had to worry about having malaria <laughs> and you had to worry because and um like in far cry 3 when you took over somewhere like an outpost or something um it would always be yours but in Far Cry 2, it would constantly be taken back. Yeah. And it would be harder to take back as well. Which meant if you were stuck with the bad weapons, you could not get anywhere. Because everywhere was enemies. Couldn't you take enemy guns? You could, but they'd be the exact same sort of quality. Oh. Like, Silly. well, not until the later game. I bet it never blows up on them. I, I played Actually, all of the Far Cry games and uh, Which I'm was really the best? enjoying... Uh, I should find out how to clear a, an enemy base, for example. In Far Cry 4, I usually use the little helicopter thing mm. and fly around the base where they are, spot them up, then sneak around the castle about three or four times, find everyone, then take them out one by one with the sniper, mm. then sneak in, use melee. So. I, I like the sneaky attacks, not the face to face. You would like Ghost Recon then because it's more like plan your attack. Yeah, you really, the thing about Far Cry is you really have to plan. Yeah, so I think Ghost Recon kind of did that. Yeah. yeah. It's the same guy who made uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Like, you have to play Far Cry on hard. Like, you have to. It's like Dishonored, you have to play it the hardest difficulty. I like the healing. So really the healing was funny because you like, oh, yeah, you got an explosion. Your your uh, your hand's broken, it all's twisted. Yeah. You just crunch it into a ball and like click it back. Oh, you have like a big fucking stick jabbed in your arm. My Yank my it out. Oh, you're um, fine. My favorite one in Far Cry 3 is when you're driving and trying to heal yourself. The bullet is always in the same place, and it always bites it out in the exact same place. Oh. <laughs> it's always like. Oh, you got shot it. in the head. Let's bite that bullet out of my arm. Yeah, yeah. Bloody arm. <laughs> yeah. My arm's been shot again. <laughs> but yeah. like, even if like if there's no combat going on at all, just yeah. do it once. And you do it again. Oh so yeah. Like two you in you got like shot spot. in the arm, <laughs> in like, in like the wrist. Yeah, you get a knife to dig into your arm and yank the bullet out. Oh, lock. <laughs> Clearly, that that was funny. It's not realistic, but that bit was. Uh, it's just. It's, it's not how it realistic, happens. but it's kind of brutal. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> Definitely sounds brutal. <laughs> it is. No, oh, it, it looks. My problem with the old like Far Cry Three as well was that Far Cry Three went from at the early game it was sort of slightly terrifying when the gun your guns were very good, but after like you take over the first phase, you're like Rambo, like you were already like a god running like, in with was, a machine gun. Yeah, like you, it was a bit too quick in my opinion. Whereas mm. Far Cry Two was a lot slower. So what do you think about Far Cry Five then? What do you think I, it's gonna be? I like? think it's gonna. I hope it brings back the breaking weapons. I hope it does because it's uh, gonna. I don't think so. It's more like the Far Cry Four and the Far Cry Primal uh, uh, mixed no, together Primal's and different. put placed in America. Mm. That's it. Actually. The thing oh, between oh. Primal and that is, Primal. You know, like the hunter enemies. Mm. They're descendants of the main character you play in Primal because they can use animals. Yeah. to attack you and what did the guy in primal do use animals to attack the enemies mm. so it's clearly his descendants but here you will have dog to attack the enemy but so like so they they kept that thing to but use like an animal the things, fangs for keep hire. peter away from this yeah like it says it's fangs for hire so it's like it's clearly no, you clearly it don't own. Oh, I paid a dog. The, that's on <laughs> the no, game. You're not pay the dog. It's like <laughs> someone else's Fame dog or something. You know, like that guy, the sniper guy you see in the thing. It could be his or something. But that's on the gameplay trailer. That was the official one. Uh, I will, I will put the gameplay trailer at the end, mm, if yeah. we have time for that. But yeah, um, in the gameplay trailer we can see, cope. Missions, oh, so mission, yeah. so that's gonna be a good mm. update for Far Cry things because I played nearly all I of them. I think they're kind of copying Fire. Ghost Recon now. With you got like cause Far Cry is a thing where you can plan your attacks just like that. You spot your enemies, see how many there are, send a guy up to the sniper tower to get provide Overwatch. 
it's the same with um, Ghost Recon. Because what you do is you, you can have, like, Max Guys. Because uh, my friend loves planning out. If if he does a mission, he tells, takes out everyone in that base. Where I kill a couple, get the thing I want, run out. Like like a Call of Duty player, mm. do the mission, do it as fast as possible, give like little to no fucks yeah, given. Like speed run. Yeah, speed play. run it. Where like Far Cry, you can't really speed run it. You gotta, you got to like plan it out, and it's it's that's what I think they're doing. So they're kind of copying it in a way, all but all I, all make I want it different. Far Cry Five is I want it to feel slightly terrifying at the start. That's all I want. I don't mind it being really powerful towards the end because you know that's how you should be towards the end of a game, but like. At the start, it needs to be somewhat. You're weak. You're going to die. Sort of feel to it. Yeah, and then you kind of go and build so far. It's like, it's like the same problem with like far, uh, far, uh, Fallout Four. Oh like, yeah, I see what you mean. I felt way too strong at the start of the game. Yeah. Like, but much, everything was weak we at that time. Yeah. Again, so. <laughs> everything was weak at that time, so. Alright. Um. Then let's move on to Red Dead Redemption and Luke. I want to hear your voice on that because you are a Rockstar Games fan. So Sounds let's like watch the trailer. Uh. All right, so. Impressions, look. So from that trailer, it does look pretty cool. I can sort of see some similarities to GTA, but it's really in a very, very different time set. But that's only the story mode of the trailer, wasn't it? So yeah, it does look pretty interesting. Got, the the uh, graphics. It's not really similar to GTA at all. Yeah, well, it's Red Dead. Engine. It's going to be similar to actual like the first one. Engine, but you know, like mm. it's, I think they got to like in this one. John, is it John Marston? Who was the first guy? John Marston was the first. Uh, yeah, uh, they got to make a canon that he gets referenced in it at least. Mm. Oh, they put an Easter egg in. Yeah, like a little. They did it for GTA. Egg. There I was a re- there was a some. book called Red Dead in GTA yeah. Five. Oh. Yeah, but that was so little. Yeah. The sun should be. Yeah, but the graphics but in that definitely look a lot better. The storyline to this is going to be you're going to play the bad guy. I think you could actually because yeah. it looks like you're abandoned most of the time. Yeah, I, it looks like it could be most of your bank robberies and stuff like that. It's, it's Heist I think that would be pretty stuff. cool. It's what we need because oh. it didn't really make much sense in like Red in Red Dead Redemption like the, the normal the original one on PS3. Yeah, yeah you, you were kind of a good guy. Well, you could bad, be a good but guy, but then you just go around mut- uh, like killing all the uh, civilians or something. But you would like fine, still seems a good person. I mean, oh, yeah, you lose you honor, but honor literally did nothing. Like, oh yeah, it did a couple things, but nothing crazy. I still don't understand the ending. Um, Why did they kill him in the first one? Oh, he didn't need to because he no did. He, get out he no did way. the mission which they asked him to do. Right? Yeah, but he but then it he was didn't. Scummy people. Yeah, well, it was yeah, the West. It was the West, but they didn't give much clarification why they 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 hit there to kill him. Mm. They just said like. Oh, I'm gonna kill you now. What do you expect from the second game? I to mean, to, to be, the, to be the s- similar to the first one or no, no, no. make something I think new? Make it different. I think there should be a character in there. Shouldn't be an Easter egg. An actual character, which it's John Marston's son. Because what? everyone thought that the main character of this one would be his son. But they said it's not. What, so What I think, think it's gonna be like is. It's gonna people obviously Rockstar scene the heists from GTA Five were a big Heist deal. Heist did very well. Yes, I, like so what no I one think on GTA, everyone did it. Yeah, absolutely everyone. Like so on the story mode, they were also like they were incredible. So what I think this is, it's gonna be mostly about bank heists. We saw the yeah. train. There was a train, so probably a train robbery. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be yeah, a very cool be. mission. If if um, I see that, uh, I would change and I would I would I would probably get it. I'll see what it's like. I'm definitely getting it. It's very yeah. I love. I I got the first one, only played a bit of it, and I didn't like it that much. It, it was good missions, but you know it, I understand it's an open world, but it's n- it's that open world where it's just barren wasteland most of the time, and it's just like it's too much. Mm. It's just like it's either make it a bit smaller, or just make it so there's more like pla- make. 
I understand it was only horse and carriages back then, mm. but it's like and um, then they're fast, but not fast enough because most of the time it was glitching on like you wanted to go over a bush and it would just kind of stop and do the thing when it missed in the air. It's silly. I really think the horse physics is way better for this guy. I mean, the horse physics in uh, Red Dead were incredible. Like, if you like, even if like, it took a jump or something, you could see like every little bit. Like, it's incredibly realistic. Mm-hmm. Well, if they were good then, what could they yeah, be now on, now, like, on next like, gen even console? Even if you watched it in the trailer when it was just walking normally, that looked crazy. I still think there should be some cars, you know, because at that time there was um, cars. Well, I think towards the end of Red Dead Redemption, there was like one or two really, really old There's cars. A, yeah, I think there should be cars like that, but like only the rich looking people. Oh, yeah, there. What, the year's really it, what year was the end of the game set in? Oh, God, don't ask. Early 1900s. It's, it's the Wild West. In the kind of like the Why middle. Like that long? No, no, no. It was kind of like in the middle where they create, like they have it. So they, it's past the bit where they're like creating new towns. Um, so they they got that past. So they've established towns and like their own little thing. I but now it's uh, it's near that bit where you know it's like near the ending of the wa- the Wild West because of all the crime and stuff. What I want back is I want back the amazing set pieces. Like, there's that bit in Red Dead where you first ride into Mexico and it plays that song. Oh, yeah. That is one of the best moments. Oh, yeah. Not that. It was like a genuine, like, full-on song written for the game. Yeah. And it is one of the best moments in gaming. Like, it was so yeah. atmospheric. Because it li- it's just a road and there's nothing. Oh, yeah, for, like, that looked a good. A good, like, two minutes. And it's just, oh, it's just one of the best things. I like that part, but it was like if you reach the boundary, like it's America, it's massive. Why can't you go to like the big cities? That's what I don't understand. It's like Trust me, it's massive. It's huge. I bet you would be. I think if they create like if they're doing it again, it's I think you should be able to get to the other parts of America, but do it. You can only get there true. by a train. Yeah, so you yeah. can't Should ride. Should be bigger than GTA oh, 5. Oh, it's gonna. Yeah. I think it's gonna. This is um, made for PS4, not PS3. GTA 5 was just restricted to PS3, Three. um, like um, I never understood it. stuff here. Yeah, but I this was um, this is built just for PS4, so yeah. it doesn't have that PS3 limitation of map size. I don't know why they haven't. Uh, there's no PC release for it either. That's the weird thing. What for Red Dead? Yeah. Red well, at least I don't want modders. The worst, the worst mm-hmm. people in GTA are PC players who have mod menus. True, true. Give people free money, glitch them, glitch you into bad sport yeah. lobbies and stuff. But this won't be like that online. Hopefully, so. they hopefully they don't add any bad sport thing because that is yeah. ridiculous. I, mean, I never said that about GTA anyway because that's what you do in GTA. Like, yeah, you just yeah. kill a bunch of people. Or yeah. you, I understand that you get a bit annoyed because I do. It's like sometimes you just want to be left on your own business, but when you're getting killed. <laughs> Over and over and over oh, again. Oh, I know all about the, that. By I'm the, the same guy, and when you finally try to do something against them, they still kill you and you do nothing <laughs> to them. <laughs> that is what yeah, I And do. then you leave Get and good, join boy. another server. That's what you do. No, the, um, if someone what, messes with me, I kill him over and over and over again. Yeah, that's what I want for. Mm. It's sort of like a cops and robbers type thing for the multiplayer. They mess with me first. Where you can either choose at the start of the game to be evil, or you can choose to be on the good side. Like, you can try to be a sheriff or something. And like try and become a sheriff of a town or something. Yeah, you like could. That. That, that should That'd be, be cool. interesting. That Man- would be. Managing a town and stuff. Yeah, like having to listen to people's requests. Well, yeah. Yeah. I usually want you to be like the bad guys, though. You won't be getting texts or anything. So, you won't be able to. Mm. You have to go and talk to them. So, uh, because these both games are being, being released on 2018 spring, yeah, some fun. something like that. Um, which one do you prefer? What? Red which Dead one you want to buy? Red yeah, Red Dead looks. It's it's not that Rockstar is like a well established company. It's just some not a lot of pe- like how Far Cry is set. Not like the story game. Just how it plays out. Not people enjoy. And like fair enough, I don't. It well, just does not look good. There's a lot of controversy about Far Cry Five because it's all religious based. Yeah, yeah that could cause like, some problems. That is yeah. really causing problems. But we're running out of studio time, so oh. we're gonna finish. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Yep, and thank you for listening fun. to uh, Game Plays You in <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Sub like, comment. <laughs>
So gobbly it. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. For more of this kind of content. Uh, subscribe.